our next speaker will take us through how India is placed in a global bright spot. It is my pleasure to welcome to the stage the CEO of Adani Ports, SEZ, Shri Karan Adani Ji. Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Shri Jagan Mohan Reddy Ji, Senior Leaders of the Government and Distinguished Administrators, Captains of the Industry, Esteemed Dignitaries and my dear friends. A very good afternoon to everyone. It is an honor to be here and speak at the Global Investor Summit 2023 before so many illuminaries from the political, social, and entrepreneurial world. To me, this distinguished gathering represents in many ways the irresistible, attractive business destination that the state of Andhra Pradesh stands for. The state of Andhra Pradesh is renowned for its excellent infrastructure, large manufacturing base, talented youth, and business-friendly environment. It has the second longest coastline in India and has established itself one of the most prominent connection points with major world markets. I congratulate the leaders of the state for their vision towards a sustainable future for being recognized by World Bank as the number one implementer for energy efficiency and conservation program. Honorable Chief Minister, I would like to express my sincere gratitude for supporting the business fraternity at large. It is your mix of astute and efficient governance that has brought business houses like Adani Group to Andhra Pradesh. Adani Group is active in multiple sectors, ranging from ports, logistics, power, edible oil, and data center in this magnific magnificent state of Andhra Pradesh, where abundance meets prosperity. Having already invested over 20,000 crores, our businesses have created more than 18,000 direct and 54,000 indirect employment opportunities in the state. Adani Group's commitment to your vision for the port-led industrial development is reflected in our actions. Our partnership with the government of Andhra Pradesh for the ports is an exemplary model of uh, public-private partnership. Currently, Adani Group operates two large private ports in the state of Andhra Pradesh, that is Krishnapatnam and Gangavaram Port, with a total capacity of 100 million metric ton per annum. In the next five years, we aim to add another 100 million metric ton of capacity and also transform these ports into industrial port cities. In the economic domain, your vision has laid the foundation to turn Andhra Pradesh as the most sustainable state in India. On these lines, pursuant to the MOU sign with government of Andhra Pradesh, we are committed to developing 15,000 megawatts of renewable power projects over the next few years across five districts, that is Anantapur, Kadappa, Purnul, Vishakapatnam, and Vijayanagaram. Ambuja and ACC Cement, the cement arm of the Adani Group, as part of our expansion plans, in the coming years, we will be setting up two plants in Kadappa, and Nadi Kudi, with a total capacity of 10 million tons per annum. We are also working on developing 400 megawatts of data center in the city of Vishakapatna. These projects will not only bring further investment, but will also create employment opportunities and also demonstrate our commitment to the sustainable growth of state of Andhra Pradesh. Let me now turn to Adani Foundation, which is the community engagement arm of the Adani Group. The Adani Foundation has remained deeply committed to making strategic social investments for sustainable outcomes throughout India. I am glad to share that our footprint in the state of Andhra Pradesh is getting bigger 
as I speak on this occasion. Our teams are executing programs in Nellore, Tirupati, and Vishakapatnam districts. At present, we are touching over 1,80,000 lives and counting in the state. Honorable Chief Minister, we are honored to be part of the sustainable development of the state of Andhra Pradesh, and we will continue to do our part for future development and growth of the state. Thank you. Jai Hind. Dhanibad Shri Adani ji for your insightful words. India's per capita income has gone up six times in the past 75 years since independence. 